Interfering with the wrong animal can have dramatic and frequently unexpected consequences. Some animals need to demonstrate dominance in order to survive, while others are simply aggressive toward other species. This dog was probably more interested in the eel on the ground than anything else. Perhaps he mistook it for a large stick covered in slime. Unfortunately for him, it turned out that this eel was electrified, and when he attempted to play fetch with it, he received a significant electric shock as a result of his actions. Electric eels can deliver a shock of up to 860 volts to a potential threat as a result of specialized cells in their bodies known as electrocytes. These electrocytes store energy like that of miniature batteries. A battle between two lions and a single African buffalo would typically end in the death of the buffalo if it were not for the assistance provided by the buffalo's other animal neighbors. Lions will frequently spend hours in pursuit of buffalo herds, leaving them exhausted and driving the youngest and weakest members of the herd into rivers and swamps. This privileged buffalo can turn the tide because he has supportive family and friends. It is to everyone's advantage that the saviors can each weigh an actual ton and have horns that are as sharp as razors. Few animals would have the audacity to attack an elephant because of their enormous size and strength, especially one that is part of a memory, which is the term for a herd of elephants traveling together. To the crocodile's credit, it was observed attacking one of the younger elephants, just like other lions, hyenas, and crocodiles have been seen doing. This particular crocodile must have forgotten that fact on this occasion. Everything comes to an end when a larger elephant arrives on the scene. This is because the reptile finally lets go of its hold, most likely because it does not want to be trampled. Who would emerge victorious between a kangaroo and a dog in a fight? The person responsible is the cameraman who recorded this breathtaking footage in 2018. This matchup, which, if it were offered as a pay-per-view event, would undoubtedly be dubbed the Wonder of Australia, actually takes place a lot more frequently than you might think. The dog is the aggressor in this scenario, although it is common knowledge that dogs will pursue kangaroos. It is common for the kangaroo to herd the dog toward a body of water rather than using its powerful hind legs to defend itself from the dog. The kangaroo uses its front paws to pull the dog beneath the surface of the water. Even though this marsupial appears to have forgotten to bring his boxing gloves with him to the ring, kangaroos are capable of landing a powerful blow when they are engaged in combat or when they perceive themselves to be in danger. It is obvious that this lion has never come across a honey badger like this before because if it had, the lion would have avoided it. Instead, it approaches the angry animal in an effort to aggravate it further. Honey badgers have been seen protecting themselves from being attacked by hyenas, buffaloes, pythons, horses, and a variety of other animals that are substantially larger than they are. The honey badger's skin is loose and resilient, which enables it to turn and twist on its aggressor. This would not have been easy for the lion to get its teeth around in its mouth. Because honey badgers are known to carry rabies, the cat's inquisitive nature very well may have resulted in its death this time. Although at first glance the interaction between a hyena and a donkey seems to be quite endearing, the situation is about to become extremely dangerous. Do not, however, let this fool you. The donkey quickly turns the tables, and the hyena can get away. It would make sense that the hyena, which appears to have the donkey's tail, would also be the more aggressive of the two animals. The donkey shouldn't have bothered with the hyena in the first place, especially since it already had one of the hyena's ears caught in its powerful jaws. The bird probably has as its ultimate goal to stomp on the hyena's neck and deliver much more than an earful to it. This rhino intends to either barge into a party that is being held by a herd of buffalo or simply attend the event. In the end, it tempers its charge and moves closer to the buffalo with extreme caution. After suffering an insulting headbutt in the form of a greeting, 
the onlookers claim that the rhinoceros performs a lap and charges the group head on this time as a display of boldness, although it retreats, possibly as a result of a wounded ego and a desire to assert its dominance. The rhinoceros is the one who maintains its position throughout this video. The rhinoceros is contentedly grazing in the middle of a group of warthogs that are all behaving in the same manner. Despite this, it seems as though the rhino is stockpiling all of the tasty grass, as the warthogs will soon arrive to sample it. It is not a good idea to bother rhinos because they spend more than a third of their day feeding, as a warthog is about to learn for itself. As he cautiously approaches, the rhino, whose appetite is driving him, grabs the warthog by his horn and hurls him violently into the air. The landing stick on the warthog is, regrettably, not very good. We warned you that donkeys were crazy, and when this one fought a large, enraged camel, it bit off more than it could chew. Ultimately, the donkey lost the fight. Based on this, it would appear that the donkey is prepared for battle. It is only able to get a few bites in, but in the end, the camel manages to bite the donkey in the back, which puts an end to the game. The camel humiliates the donkey by tossing it around like a rag doll and letting him know who is in charge in this part of the world. When the camel is finally able to let go of the donkey, the donkey has a difficult time standing and moving around, which is an indication that the camel has caused significant damage. Should the donkey have the good fortune to see another day, I highly doubt that he will make the same error again. This enormous hornet is making a vain attempt to steal the honey that the bees have worked so hard to produce, but it will be unsuccessful. The bees initially allowed the hornet to enter their territory because it had not yet caused them any harm. When the hornet, however, makes the fatal mistake of attacking one of the bees, the other bees swarm into action to defend themselves. It is not a lack of air that causes the hornet to suffocate, rather, it is the combined body heat of hundreds of bees. Because the bees' ability to withstand heat is higher by 2 degrees Celsius than that of the wasp, they can kill a hornet by roasting it alive while suffering minimal, if any, casualties. These protective mechanisms have been refined by bees over the course of millions of years, and they have an innate knowledge that heat is the hornet's Achilles heel. Being slowly smothered to death by bees is a horrible way to go. We appreciate you watching the video and hope to see you again soon. Please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. Thank you.